Sorry for the crappy lighting. Well, it's not really crappy. It's just this light's bright as hell. Um, welcome back to another Slam Movie Review. Um, I've been... This movie right here, I, I've been... <laughs> I was supposed to get this movie done Monday. There's a, there's a specific guy who's on my... I don't know if he's a subscriber or he's just a random guy on YouTube that is has a fond love for Chuck Norris. Um, and he was the one that wanted me to do, I did Missing in Action, the the first one, a couple years ago at my grandma's house. I reviewed it and I watched it over there. Well, now I get to, I watched the second one and I, I know I said I was going to do the third one. And, but then I wasn't, when, when I saw the second one, not into it. Don't really care. Um, I mean, I'm just not to those those kind of those kind of films, I guess. You know, the prisoner, like you know, the coming out of war, or prisoner escape. And I, I I wasn't really interested in seeing Missing Action three, but this guy, it's not his real name. He's got a different name, but he, I don't understand. Oh, don't don't uh, don't tell me my name. So oh well, but Mr. John Doe himself. Hey, what are you going to do? What? He give me a comment on Facebook or YouTube. What are you going to do? Bright Act, Missing Action 3. And I said, I'll get it done by Monday. But it never happened because I've been having other stuff going on or I just didn't really care. And I'm sorry to say, this film here is not going to be a good one. This film right here, first of all, I couldn't find a good... And maybe I could have, but I, I couldn't find no good quality of this film. But YouTube, fortunately had, but wasn't really the best quality, but YouTube had it. And I said, yeah, whatever, I'm going to watch it here. But the thing is, though, right now it's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock and it's 11.03 a.m. And this was an hour and... What was this? This was a 103-minute movie. So I this basically started at 8.03. I think I started at 8.45. I don't remember. But this film, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you or not. I fell asleep. I, I, I dozed off a little bit during this film. Because I, I take medicine in, in the morning. I take Buspar and it fucks up your, makes you sleep. Makes you knocked up, not knocked up. Knocked out and was does not. Thing is, Brad. Let's just go for it. Spoilers, spoiler, spoilers. Should be warned. Whatever. Um, this is Colonel James Brad. This is played by. It's played by Chuck Norris. He's a Vietnamese veteran, and he's believed that his wife, his Asian wife, Lin Tan Kang, is to be dead. Is dead and it was. He is believed that she's dead because in the beginning of this film you have them, uh, um, we have them together where he was in the army, but then again you know a lot of soldiers made it with a lot of Vietnamese, and he was one of them, but didn't know he had a child though. But you know it's funny though it's just. He's believed that she's dead. With thing I kept dozing off even on all over the film. Her own friend, or his wife's friend, oh, like takes this this net, this big ass bracelet, or whatever, which he gave her. But her friend says, "Oh, take everything, take anything you want," you know. Well, I didn't see this, but the part where, because his wife was going to go with him, because they had all these uh, Vietnamese people at the fall of Saigon or whatever, of uh, getting rides out to the, to the states or to the camps or whatever. The I don't know, but I didn't see where her friend got hurt because her friend got had the damn bracelet. He couldn't find his wife, and then he finds that bracelet on that woman who's dead, who thought that was his wife. Um, her face is burnt off; he can already see it. I got to sneeze. <laughs> um, so he's believed she, she's dead. And then you see her just 
she tries to get in there and say, hey, my, my husband's in there, you know, I, I have to get, I got papers, and no. So that's it. It goes back to, uh, I don't know what year it was, whatever the fuck, but he, it just, it just gets to him in a bar, and then there's this reverend, it's a reverend Pulowski, talking about, oh, your wife's alive, and she has a son, you know, they have a son, you know, and he don't believe it, but his, 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 there's a CIA cool there's a CIA cold blooded boss like Vince McMahon kind of character told him like oh don't believe it you know disregard the information which he thought it was not true but it's true um but he goes back to um here's a, here's where I got I, I got lost interest in I was just like eh. he goes back over there and then with this Australian motherfucker. And they leave him and then... Yeah, he, he leads him there and then you see... He, there's all these little camp, These little... It's the refugee camps or whatever that the Vietnamese are holding. And then he meets his wife. And he's his son. His son's pissed off because his son... You know, because... He always believed that his dad would come back, but then again, his dad never knew that he was dead. Um, his wife, you know, she's all beat up, battered up. She ain't like who she was in the first one. She would say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not the, I'm not that beautiful or, or anymore. And then he, Braddock says, you'll always be beautiful to me. So... Sorry about that, I was... <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, he he ends up getting all, you know, and say and saves him. But this is like in our third. This is like forty five minutes of this shit. And I'm like, what the hell is this? But like, like already. I mean, but no. And then they, you get to see the damn the. They get cro cro What's that word? They get. Caught up with the fucking general, who is General Co Co Coes, or I don't fucking know. General Codes, I, I don't know. And he just, I don't care. Didn't care for this guy, oh, you know. And then they captured, and the thing is that what they do, they kill his fucking, they kill his wife. In front of him and his his son, and I'm like, and that's one of the things I just like. Yeah, this movie's just okay. It's stupid as fuck. Of course, they didn't take the they they, they didn't want to go the drama way out. No, they wanted to go. We're gonna make this come and go back to him. Arr, go Rambo and fucking be Chuck Norris and kill motherfuckers left and right. But his son was still alive. I mean, but then again, they captured him. You gotta pay your war crimes. Oh, let's go back to the same torturing shit. Like, I don't really care. They had a scene where they, like, they first got him in there. And they had tied him up. And then if he loses traction, this it, it, this shot, it, it, like, this thing, this thing that he's being hung on, if he loses his footing or whatever, the, the, that the shotgun will shoot somebody in this chair. But it showed it. And then they put his son in that. And they, they torture the shit out of him, and they think that he'll let go and uh, kill his son, but he does not. Chuck Norris does not do it. But, yeah, that's what it is. And that's when I fell asleep on and off. I don't know what the hell it is. And then I woke I kept dozing off and on and off. And then... We have him... Just whooping ass. Just, just shooting, and killing people's names and shit, and then he saves the. Uh, there's the children from the Reverend that the Reverend was uh, owning up to, and he's fucking damn. The, the guy was going to the guy, the, the the fucking Colonel, the, the the general takes the kids. Oh, we take you half breed American children. We'll take them with you. 
and kill them all or something like that. And there's a fucking scene where I woke up to where there are the kids in the camp and there's this little girl and she's part of the, and then just looks all terrified. Like, no, 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 you know, and then this fucking one of the soldiers is going to rape her. And it was fucking like, oh, God, please, I want to watch this shit. I hate rape scenes in movies and fucking in general. No, and that's when Brett came in to save the day. <laughs> kills everything, do, 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 kills all the fuckers, and then the general, what's his main, his, is dead. And then you get to see me there with soldiers, you see the border, this bridge. But Brack saves the day. There you go. Sorry, uh, John Doe, with this crappy review, but at the same, I mean, I just, I really wasn't, I really wasn't looking forward to this. Um, I mean, I like Chuck Norris, too, by the way. But, I don't know. Just, wasn't my cup of tea. This film wasn't, I mean, the thing is, though, I did like this better. I did like this better than the second one, or the prequel, you should say. Um, I, don't, I mean, the first one was okay, too. But the thing is, though, does this get a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I need to do one that has a neutral where it's a thumbs up, thumbs down. Which there's, I don't know how to do it, but I don't. I'm going to thumbs it down. I'm going to thumbs it down because, well, I fell asleep and just, I'm, I'm glad for the series to be over with. I, I don't really care. I, I just, it's. I didn't care for the wife being dead and like, oh, you know, well, at least the kid's still alive and they, the kid loves him in the end and, you know, they're not bitching, but I didn't care. I, no. So sorry to the guy who wanted me to do this review. Um, I, yeah, I, I just didn't really care for this film. Um, but yeah. But if you want to check it out, go check it out. Missing Action 3 or Brack Missing Action Part 3. This is actually directed by his son, Aaron. But all together, I mean, you have action. You get your little drama parts, you know, with him and his wife when he had, before she dies. You know, um, I don't know. But not my cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. But maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it is yours, but. More cons and pros, just, I don't know. That's why, maybe maybe that's why you, don't, you should watch movies after you take your medicine. So, yeah, but sorry. But, oh, well, that's my review. Um, be on the lookout. Uh, I I'm, I haven't watched a full movie. Actually, when this, at this movie review is doing on, I still got a review that I have to upload and get done before I get this review done. I just want to get this in the fucking can and put it in the fucking saved in here and upload it. But, yeah. But I missed, yes, um, B, I don't know when the next movies will be. I need to be doing some, um, going back to horror or something or action or adventures. I don't know, or comedy. I don't know. But stay tuned. More reviews shall come. So I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Peace.